So this is just a short video about my old Atari ST monitor. These CM8833 monitors were very popular back in the Atari Amiga days. And there's a few different models, but I believe this is one of the earlier models. It would have been almost 30 years ago that I bought my Atari ST and after many, many years in storage I, I decided to power it up and I managed to enjoy about 10 minutes of nostalgia before the, the monitor made a, a crackle sound and it lost its picture. So powering up the monitor, the, the power light would still come on. Uh, you'd hear a high pitch, high pitch sound, which just sounded a little bit different to, to usual. Um, and of course, there was no picture. So I thought it was time to open it up and have a bit of a look. Now, if you are going to open up your monitor, make sure you understand the risks and um, know how to discharge your CRT. The CRTs hold a very high charge and uh, need to be discharged before you can um, safely work on them. Now despite being pretty dusty everything looked okay. Uh, there were no, no burnt areas or, or anything like that. I did find a few cracked solder joints including on the flyback transformer uh, which may have caused an issue. Um, I did try touching them all up and uh, powering up the monitor again but there were no improvements. So it seems um, it's very common for the flyback transformer to give up in these monitors and the most common fix is just to, to replace it. Before I went down that path I thought I'd try adjusting the intensity and um, focus but that didn't make a difference either so I ended up ordering a new one through Dontronics which is in, uh, in Europe couldn't find a local supplier here in Australia. That arrived a few weeks later and um, was quite easy to swap out. That resolved the, um, the issue with the picture. Of course the, the focus and intensity needed, needed to be adjusted. But once that was tweaked, I had a really, really nice sharp picture. So once I had the monitor all back together, I had a bit of a bit of a play with it and I noticed another issue which may have been there previously I didn't pay too much attention to the sound but the left channel seemed to crackle and periodically pop um, I couldn't find much info online about this so I ended up just removing the audio board from the from the main motherboard I, I suppose you would call it and just touching up all the solder joints on the amplifier ICs. It's quite an easy job and uh, putting it back together that, that resolved that topic. So now I have a great picture and great sound coming out of this monitor. So that's about it for now. Hopefully there's some info in this video that, that might be useful to you in case you're repairing your own. And it's kind of given me the idea to see what the Atari VCS would look like on, on this old, old uh, monitor. So look out for that video coming soon. Alright, see you next time.